my life has been pretty hard, pretty fast, and, and pretty consistent on not getting anywhere. About 10 days after I got out of rehab, he was murdered. I had already had um, issues with drugs and addictions. And I lost um, all faith in God, anything, everybody. From the time I was 26 years old, I, uh, um, I lost somebody who was close to me. Tony would come up and see me every other weekend in rehab. And then about 10 days after I got out of rehab, he was murdered. So I just, I just gave up on my recovery. I gave up on people, and most of all, I gave up on God. I was very angry on, at, on, at God for taking him. Didn't understand why he had to go the way he did. So I just kind of plummeted it deeper into the drug scene, and um, you know, had three beautiful children who had to suffer from my addiction, and. Uh, you know, lived the life of in the fast lane, selling drugs, using drugs, and, um, you know, hanging around bars. And then um, with that comes uh, arrests with the law, getting in trouble with the law through drugs, and, and, um, and then ending up in relationships that would end up in domestic problems. So I ended up in... Um, drug court and um, I volunteered to take this program for a recovery program and, and I went into rehab for this but in the meantime in this program you're meeting all these new people crown attorneys volunteers and there was this lady that was always sitting in one of the pews and I, I had asked a nurse Tracy um who's that lady sitting over there in the, in the pew and she goes oh that's that's a saint she's a saint and it was Betty <laughs> so um, I didn't pay much attention to it, but the she's a saint kept going over and over in my head for about a week until next time I got to see Betty at the drug court. And she, this time she had come up to me and she said, Larice, do you mind if I talk to you? Can I? Something like that, to that effect. And then I looked at her and kind of curled my lip up and said, oh, you're a saint. <laughs> and because that's what I was told, I wasn't given a name, just a saint. So... Once I met Betty, I started examining my life and and why I was there and what was the purpose of the saint all of a sudden coming into my life, wanting to take me, you know, out for breakfast with her and her daughter or Jess and or going to make jewelry, different things from what I was used to. So um, yeah, and I started liking it, and then. I, I came to the church a couple times and got to meet the pastors and people in the congregation. And I wanted what they had, you know. Like I want. I told that to Betty one time. I said, "I want what you have. I want Jesus in my heart. I want to be able to forgive him. I want to get off the drugs. I needed the, su the support." So uh, I asked Betty if uh, she could get in touch with Pastor Rob because he had come to drug treatment court one time and and he told us his story, he was a guest speaker. So hearing his story and similar stories, you know, I didn't feel so alone. It could work for one person, it can work for another. And so with that, I felt that I needed to speak with Pastor Rob and give myself up 100% to God. We all sat in his office, him, him Betty and I, and he told him my story. And the next thing you know, I decided I wanted to be baptized. <clears throat> I want to be baptized because I want to feel whole. That's just important to me to feel that connection with God. I feel that <clears throat> I'm pretty much saying to God that it's time for me to be recognized. It's just... I don't know, like a marriage type of thing with the church, with my soul, with my faith. So. I've been able to trust people. Last year, I wouldn't trust anybody. I wouldn't open up to anybody. It was just a hard case. I've softened. 
I'm not as angry as I used to be. I can step back and not just want to lash out at the whole world and poor, poor me or, you know, sad, sad story. I know when I'm going to do something that's not so positive, it might be negative. I stop and think. Why something stops me and say, oh, do you really want to do that? Maybe you should step back and think about this move. I've noticed that about me. I'll stop and think before I do something drastic or is this the right decision to make? I believe for me, because I've tried every other way, that it has to be through God and the church that my recovery is going to be successful. I'm pretty sure of that. So I decided to quit drug treatment court. It wasn't fulfilling me 100% the way I needed God to fulfill it for me. I believe this is where I'm going to finally be able to kick the habit. And the desire is big. Like, um, I can't say where I will be next year at this time of the year, but I'm pretty positive that I'll be even sitting here with a bigger smile on my face, you know, because I am happier and more ex accept myself for who I am, not for who pe what people say I am. Who, you know, I am who I am, but there's room for change. Every day I see a change and getting closer to the Lord, so.